Hello Aquarius and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your reading for the week of November 19th to the 25th, 2018. Alrighty guys, and um, I am doing a 30 a minute free reading giveaway. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway, um, which I will have going on until December 12th. So all you have to do to enter it um, is go to my Twitter, which is Deku Tarot, D-E-K-U-T-A-R-O-T, um, and retweet the tweet about the giveaway. Follow me on Twitter, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and then email me or message me on Twitter or um, through YouTube, okay? And then you'll be added to the list, okay? And I will be um, letting you know who the winner is after December 12th. Alrighty, also um, for Thanksgiving, until the end of, um, sorry, until the end of November, I am doing a Thanksgiving $5 off my reading special, so check that out. All the information on booking your reading with me is right below this video in the description box, and you can take $5 off of any reading. They're not $5 readings, but you can take $5 off of a reading price, okay? Alrighty, Aquarius, this reading won't resonate with every single one of you, but let's see what's coming in this week for you guys. I am just going to do a one um, spread general reading, see what comes up for life, love, and career. All right, and then we'll pull a one card for love for the week and an oracle card at the end, okay? Alrighty, Aquarius, I'm using my Hieronymus Bosch deck for you guys, and we'll see what's coming in. Where will my Aquarius be at the beginning of the week? Well, there's situations, opportunities, positions, challenges, opportunities. We'll be at the forefront for my Aquarians at the beginning of the week here. Where will they be at? What will be going on in their lives? Ooh, the wheel. So we are going through some transformation. Something is coming in here. We definitely feel it's something that there's change coming in. There um, is definitely more abundance rolling in. We're on the other side of the wheel, and that's what we've been waiting. If we have been waiting for things to change or shift, the energy is definitely shifting this week. We definitely feel the wheel turning and things changing. As we move towards the middle of the week, we move into Sagittarian energy on the 22nd and that Gemini new, I'm sorry, Gemini full moon on the 23rd. What will my Aquarians be going through? What will be coming forward in their lives? Ten of Swords. So yeah, this is the end of a cycle here. The wheel is changing um, and making this the end of a cycle. We have an ending here. We might feel like we have to fight the very last, we have one last battle here. And as we move into that Gemini full moon energy. What is that bringing up here for my Aquarians? We get the Seven of Wands, a defensiveness. And at the end of the week, where will my Aquarians find themselves? At the end of this week here, what will the energy be for them at the end of the week? What will be coming up? Opportunities, challenges, and love and career. Ten of Cups. So it ends pretty well there. Ten of Cups. So we could be having... A really joyous feeling at the end of the week here. Let's pull a couple clarifiers. Um, feeling a lot of love here. If it's a love situation, we could be feeling very fulfilled. All right, the wheel to the Ten of Swords. What is happening in the lives of my Aquarius is that is bringing up the energy of the wheel and the Ten of Swords at the beginning of this week. What is flying out here? Woo, King of Cups, maybe a water sign. This one really wants to come forward too, so I'm just going to pull it. Your cards are kind of flying out, so I'm just going to go with it. All right. Seven of Wands here. So we're moving on from this negative period, which is beautiful energy. That's why that definitely wanted to come out so bad. Um, all right, Seven of Wands, the Ten of Cups. What's coming in? That Gemini full moon, and after that, what is that bringing forward for my Aquarians? Okay, ooh, we get the Hermit. Sorry, the, the Hangman. I read it wrong. <laughs> the Hangman here. So again, it could be um, a need to sit back and think about a situation. Sit back and really. Find an answer here to a situation that we might be feel stuck in or that we have realized is kind of trapped as a defensiveness. We might be feeling defensive because we're focusing on an inter a very internally on an issue here and not communicating about it. And the hangman is kind of um, showing us that maybe we thought we were in one situation, but the truth is that we're being a little defensive and we need to kind of look within. Maybe we are not where we thought we were. Seven of Wands, the Ten of Cups at the end of the week for my Aquarians. What, let's clarify what is happening that is bringing up energy from the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Cups here for my Aquarians. Ooh, Ace of Wands. So yeah, a new start, um, new energy coming in here. That's that Sagittarian fire energy there, so that's pretty good. 
Alrighty, so let's look at the meanings of these cards here. Um, because the Bosch Tarot kind of has a different meaning than most of the other decks. Or I really enjoy their meanings. They're very different. Um, so I'm getting my own kind of, um, you know, messages here. And then we'll look at also what the Tarot, what the Bosch Tarot says. Because with the Wheel and the King of Cups here, um, you know, timing is bringing something in. Um, knowledge and timing, it's like, it's kind of like the wheel is turning. We feel um, the energy shifting. We feel different, a different kind of period or, you know, sorry, um, a different chapter kind of coming in here. One chapter is kind of coming to a close of learning. Something about our hearts. Maybe we've um, been going through some emotional changes. You know, maybe we've been working on depression, anxiety, situations like that. And now we are feeling a lot more emotionally stable. The wheel is turning. And we found that we have grown a lot. Um, the wheel in this deck um, is wisdom is attained through, sorry, wisdom is attained by not letting oneself get wrapped up in the suffering of the world. Wisdom is found in never ceasing to contemplate it. So we are releasing, um, you know, maybe our emotional attachments to things that no longer serve us. The wheel is saying that, that you know, our emotional attachments and issues, um, you know, things that we that we're getting wrapped up in are now re like releasing it kind of the wheel turns and we're released from that energy we're not getting ourselves get wrapped up in all the suffering but we're accepting what is coming in here we aren't um you know holding on to the past in this situation is really what i'm getting here time is moving us forward and is showing us a lot of emotional stability the king of cups is experienced he who is experienced much has understood and is now able to share his own experience with others okay so you've experienced a lot and um whatever you've been through it has given you a lot of life experience um so again we could have gone through kind of a difficult period here um whether it be love or career or even just emotional um aspects and you know where your life is heading maybe we haven't maybe we've been trying to find our way forward here and um we've been through some tough experiences that have held us back or you know had to work through a lot and what we've realized is that we've experienced this all or maybe um the timing has been held back and now the wheel is just turning now even though we maybe wanted it earlier for a reason so that we can learn something so that we can experience something and bring it to others and help others so whatever we have um we felt like we haven't been able to start this whole time whatever we felt like maybe we've been kind of held back on and needing to move forward in and um you know we feel that shift coming in with this um you know, it's changing. We're learning that, you know, maybe we shouldn't have been as frustrated because this experience, this painful period here that has probably brought us a lot of stress. Again, the Ten of Swords, um, but it's ending. We're moving on from it. We're leaving the past behind and we're coming forward in a much stronger sense here, emotionally and um, in, in stability. The Ten of Swords here, um, the far-sighted one. To face the battle, you need more than one weapon. It feels like, you know, maybe you've realized in the situation that you are coming that you are um, dealing with now or you know maybe what this has taught you is that you know you need to have a lot more weapons in your arsenal here maybe you needed to have more experience maybe you needed to realize how to deal with people that weren't great to deal with maybe you know that could have been whatever this was it was a learning experience that taught you how to deal with difficult situations difficult people and things not going your way and um it could also have been an emotional thing maybe we've dealt with a lot of depression maybe we've gotten over a very painful experience in the past and we're coming from it um a lot stronger we're leaving the negative past behind six of swords the hunted one whenever one is submitted to a lashing uh to a lashing whip in pain one runs as far as possible so again we're leaving the pain behind <laughs> we're running away from the pain here and we're moving but we can't just run on from it we must have this experience is kind of what i'm getting here we have to see it as an experience instead of something that we need to run away from we have to feel the pain in that moment so that we can feel the light when it comes in it is always darkest before the dawn. You know, things will always push us to our limits right before they're about to give us what we want. You know, seven of wands here. We have to trust the universe is going to help us and that we are going to get wherever it is we are trying to get to here with hard work, effort, and not giving up. And not running away from our problems. Maybe it's an internal problem that we need to face that we have that we are refusing to face at this time. Seven of Wands, the lady, poised on one's conceit, gnawing at one's talent. So maybe it's because you don't believe in yourself. And what you need to realize is you've been through this all, and you can't be continuously thinking that you're not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Well, maybe I need some more time, maybe I need to learn more. You've learned a lot here. So don't run away from your problems, accept them, look at them from a different perspective. And don't, again, um, you know, this is saying...
to not know your talents, not like, you know, whittle down your talents to, oh, I can't really do this. I'm not that great at. So if you're an artist, you're like, oh, I'm not that great. I'm not seriously an artist. I'm not seriously this. You are. You are. Or, you know, I'm not seriously like, like you're making like, you know, sick jokes about how you're depressed still or something. And you're like, I'm not depressed though still. Or maybe people are still treating you that way. And you're like, yeah, you're right. Maybe I am still messed up. Maybe I am. Um, a problem. Maybe there is something wrong with me. The hangman is kind of taking you out for a day. So maybe towards the end of the week, we're feeling a little bit insecure. There's like an insecure feeling here. On um, the hangman, things are hidden behind other things. One must look both above and below to liberate oneself. Suffering. So if you want to liberate yourself from the suffering, you have to look at it from all different perspectives here. You know, ask for guidance and accept whatever guidance comes in. Don't push it away. Don't ignore it because you don't want to deal with it. Sometimes we have to look at, um, you know, what we don't want to. Sometimes we have to face parts of ourselves that we don't want to that are difficult. And, you know, we can't be defensive about it. We can't be defensive about, you know, anything that is wrong with us or anything that we need to work on. Um, or again, or maybe you're, you're belittling your, how much you've worked, how much, how far you've come here. You need to look at it from a different perspective. Okay. Um, things are hidden here and you need to, you know, seek them out, seek out the truth. You can find it. The 10 of cups here at the end of the week is a beautiful thing to have. Okay. It's a beautiful little gift here at the end of the week is this ace of wands, this 10 of cups, beautiful energy. Um, you know, 10 of chalices here is the home. The family unit is not without asperity, but it holds together through sentiment. So again, maybe this has something to do with your family at the end of the week. Again, we do have, um, if you're in the U.S. Thanksgiving this week, so maybe we have a very familial atmosphere. Maybe um, despite them maybe saying some negative things about you or, you know, maybe somebody was nitpicking you this week or they were like, oh, well, you know, Jeffrey's always like this. Jeffrey's never going to be, like, satisfied. Jeffrey's never going to have the career in this that we always, you know, like, making jokes about or something. You're like, that actually hurts. Not nice. It's making me think things about myself that I didn't want to. Um, but, you know, family members don't mean anything negative. It seems like we do have a lot of love here. Maybe you're connecting with family, friends, a lover in a really wonderful way here. We're having a lot of emotional, um, you know, fulfillment here at the end of the week. A lot of happiness, joy, um, love. So again, we're going to feel really secure in that, in those aspects at the end of the week. And the wands is like, you know, showing us that we're moving in a new direction. Ace of wands. Um, where is he at? Ace of wands. Yeah. Um, knowledge. Locking oneself inside oneself bears no fruit. So again, whatever you have learned, share it with others. Share it with somebody that you love. Um, you move forward with this idea. You know, locking yourself inside with this knowledge of, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this. I'm going forward with this. Isn't going to make it happen. Move forward. Use that energy. Use the people that are around you again. And not like in a bad way, use them. But, you know, ask them for help. It does seem like we're going to have a lot of support from those that love us. From whether they be a lover, a, um, you know, somebody in our family, somebody that we consider family. Somebody that we love unconditionally here. Or, um, you know, emotional fulfillment within um, a new idea. We're going to be really emotionally fulfilled in that. But move forward on it. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't lock yourself away with this knowledge. Just go for it, okay, Aquarius? All right, let's pull one card for love for the week for you guys. And then we'll use um, a Halloween Oracle. So I'm going to use my Hobbit deck for a love card for you guys. All right, overall energy of love and romance for my Aquarians this week. Overall energy for love and romance for my Aquarians this week. November 19th to the 25th, 2018. For Aquarians. Love and What's coming out here? Eight of coins. We're working on things. We're coming to fruition um, with a situation. Maybe um, if we've been working towards um, a situation with our relationships or towards somebody that we want to date, um, we are going to see it come to fruition and we're, we're finding a way forward to connect with this person to, you know, really build and like solidify this relationship. We're working on things this week. The Eight of Coins is finding a way forward, finding a way over this um, river here. So this week we could be finding a way to communicate to somebody that we like or um, seeing progress in a relationship or a dating situation. Whatever this is, is beautiful and we are working together. So let's look at your oracle card now. Advice from Spirit for my Aquarians this week. Advice from Spirit for my Aquarians. So they need to know this week. Advice for my Aquarians this week. Advice for my Aquarians. What will help them this week? What will help them this week? This is my Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle. What's 
this that wants to come out. Apple, risk and reward. Ooh, okay. All right, I love this card. Okay, let's check it out. All right, risk and reward, sweetest, risky red desire, poison and freedom, tempting hearts of fire. All righty, so let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Where's the meaning here? Just lost it. <laughs> okay. Apples have been an iconic part of mythos from ancient times to modern. The story of the poison apple in Snow White to the Roman goddess Pomona's magical apple tree to the Christian's tempting fruit in the Garden of Eden. Should you receive this apple in your reading, it's time to look at how risk plays out in your life. Are you hedging your bets and not trying anything new? Do you want to change but are not willing to change anything? Are you willing to risk to get a greater reward? Or alternatively, are you risking too much too often? So Aquarians, this week, um, take the risk to get the reward, okay? Don't um, just sit back on your laurels, be defensive and all that, um, whatever, in whatever situation you're in, take the risk or, you know what, maybe I feel like instead of saying that you guys are risking too much, I feel like this week we need to go for the risk. I feel like we need to go for it. If you want the reward, you're going to have to take a reward, take a risk here. You're going to have to step forward into your power here and go with that new energy, go with that new direction here and not be afraid of, you know, what will happen. Know that the rewards are waiting for you on the other side. Okay. All you have to do is take that risk. All right, Aquarius. Um, well, have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys next week. Um, again, I also just did a pick a card reading. So go check out my pick a card reading for how will this play out. Um, you can pick one, two, or three. And also, guys, remember to, um, you know, if you guys are looking for, you know, to get a free 30-minute reading, <laughs> um, that contest is going on until December 12th. So, again, go follow me on Twitter. Um, retweet that tweet that I uh, put out about it. And make sure you're subscribed on here and then email me once you are subscribed on here and you're following me on Twitter and have retweeted that, okay? And you will be entered in for that 30-minute free reading. And you can do that from now until um, December 12th, okay? And after that, I will be choosing the winner, all right? All right, guys, um, thank you so much. And again, if you want to book a private reading, all the information is below. $5 off until the end of November. All righty, have a wonderful week, Aquarians.